Hello cooperators. So this is going to be a review for wallets. More importantly, minimalist wallets, in particular one. However, to start with, minimalist wallets. Small, light, all perfectly good. All do a great job. No problem there at all. However, we got talking to a company called Stow Wallets, uh, based in the US, and. After hearing their story and everything they're doing, we got chatting and they kindly sent us a couple, a couple of wallets uh, which we'll be uh, giving away as well. This is the company. So it's a company called Stow. And the interesting thing about them is, unfortunately back in 2018 they were caught in a in car fires, the wildfire fires. And Unfortunately, all their premises burnt down. Um, manufacturing, plant, properties, trees, you know, neighbouring property. That, it's just awful for a lot of people. However, Stowe decided they weren't going to let that, that beat them. And they thought they'd carry on. So they got the manufacturing plant back up. And this is what they made. So let's look at some of the details of the Stowe wallet. So in terms of size... They are so 90 millimeters by 60 millimeters, which is approximately 3.6 inches by 2.3, and widths. Now the widths vary depending on which model you get, because this is the other impressive thing, really, with regards to the stone wallets. There's four. That's right, four different sizes. So you've got the four card, six card, the eight card, and they now do a 10 card, which is great. So whatever your choices are, you can get them. Weight wise, start from around 45 grams without anything. So the four card wallet without anything, about 45 grams. So they're all milled from a single block of aluminium um, and they're all made all in the US. And it's actually 6061 Aerosmith Aluminium, or Aluminum, if you're in America. So the Stow Wallet, what is it? it? Kind of has three phases, which is worth noting. So the first one is this top section with a angled card. It's like a neoprene plastic sort of material. And basically what that does, that holds down any business card you would have in there. So you can buy your business cards, loyalty cards, anything like that. And it keeps them in a separate container altogether, which we find really handy. Flipping it over is where you keep your cards. So, choose your card, grab it out, flip it to the top, pick one out, put it back in. Can't get much simpler than that, which is one nice thing we've found, particularly with the uh, with the stow wallets. The third section is where you keep your money. Now, not a lot of um, minimalist wallets have this function, so it's quite nice to see they've actually thought about this. And the way it does it is with this clever patent pending design of a, like a flexi flexi back in which also gives a bit of a bit of rigidity in the wallet itself. So with that in, flip it over again, slump the guards, get your money, pay whatever you want to, slip it in, straight in, drop the gun. And it is as simple as that. That really, when you're talking about minimalist wallets, there isn't much to talk about in sense of they do one thing. The Stow Wallet does it very well, and it also has the has the uniqueness of having that extra compartment, having that extra compartment. That was one of the things that really drew us to having a good chat with them. No, are we impressed with the Stow Wallet? Yeah, yeah, we are. It's simple, it's clean, it's functional, and it's. Incredibly hard wearing. It's it's a solid, well constructed, well thought out bit of kit. 
And one of the nice things, it's the history behind it. So why, or more I should say, how they came back from, you know, a massive tragedy to keep going and build something as, as robust and as quality as the, uh, as the slip wallet. That's the impressive part. So do go check out uh, Stowe. Do go check out the story. Because um, I think that's important. Particularly in EDC, it's not just about the product, it's about where it came from and how it came to be. So do get them checked out. Um, like I say, one of the wallets will be up for a giveaway soon on the Instagram page. So check us out. Don't forget to follow us. Give us a like. Subscribe. Thank you very much.